Uh, Rockstar, yes, sadly I cannot read gold cheers. So anyone who does a special gold cheer, I'm not seeing them. I'm not sure what you said. If you say, if you tell me what you said, I'll uh, answer you right now. My apologies. Thank you for the cheer. I can't. For some reason, Muxy isn't working with the gold cheers. So my bad there. Ah, oh, look. I put out the fire. Ah, oh, there's like a little area there. He says you. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. Uh, oh, see you, see you tomorrow, Metal Gear Rex. Have a good night. I just got a ten dollar and one cent tip from Anonymous. Ask me when did I realize that I had depressive disorder? Is I've had it during my whole life, even though I've never experienced trauma. Um, it started in high school for sure. Like in high school, I started taking medications that made me start feeling all fucked up. And then I'd say probably when I really realized it was 2004 or 2005. Like, oh shit. Like, there was this one time I remember in particular at work. I did something this stupid. And I got in trouble. And, you know, you fucking asshole. I got in trouble for it, right? And it wasn't super serious. It wasn't like, oh god, you know, you lost your job or whatever. It was just something, like, silly. But I couldn't get over it. Like, no matter what I did, I kept I kept having, like, nightmares and shit. And I couldn't fucking get over the fact that, that like, oh my god, something horrible, you know. Like, something horrible was gonna happen at work. And I was a horrible person because I'm an idiot who made a mistake. And it was just real weird. Like, never in my life had I ever felt like that before. And then I remember, later on, feeling kind of like, wow, I got 20 of 30, by the way. Later on, something else happened to me that made me kind of, like, like not feel good. And I became self-destructive. Like, I started not talking to my friends anymore. And it was just really odd because I wasn't that kind of a person. But all of a sudden, I started changing and becoming this different kind of a person that I really didn't feel like I was. And, uh, you know, that's something depression does is it fucks with you. It makes you act differently. It makes you shut off relationships. It does a lot of messed up stuff. <clears throat> How do I get up there? Hmm. Fuck. Do I really have to stand on top of this fucking barrel that's gonna blow up to do this? Maybe I could use the table? Nice! Oh shit. God damn it, it took so much health. Oh, wait a minute, there's a secret over here. Look! There's a secret over here. That's the Half Life symbol, the Lambda symbol. And there's a grate there. It's hand drawn though, so it's different from the others. It's not spray. What the? Fuck off. I think this is where they want me to go for the story, this way. Yeah, so I'm gonna go the other way first to look for the secret. Where's this guy? The bottom of the staircase. All right, how do I get onto this secret here? Yeah, look, there's a secret right here. Just gotta jump up. Nice, what's this? Yup, a hidden lambda area, nice. That was cool. That was cool that it was handwritten, right? It was handwritten. It wasn't the spray that you recognize from the rest of the game. So anyway, thank you for that anonymous $10 and one cent tip.
Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. I certainly hope that some of the stuff I shared about depression and stuff last week made you feel better. Okay, let's continue. Oh, look where I am. I'm high up over here. Yep. Okay, so I just gotta go back. So let's see what was the other way. More Macaulay to be ten dollars and two cents. Oh shit. He says, we know Sammy's he says my my prayers go to Sammy Samosa. We know Sammy is a legend of the DSP community. Get well soon, Sammy. Yeah, if he really is sick, that sucks, man. Rockstar says that this game was supposed to release in 2003, but uh, Valve was hacked by a German guy named Axel or something, and so it couldn't release on time. This game released in 2004, right? All right, so this is where I'm supposed to go with the gravity gun. So now Mark McCauley is now the top, the t the top uh, tipper. By one penny. A single penny. Thank you, Mark, for the tip. Thank you for the anonymous person for the tip, and thank you, Mark, for the tip. Get shit out of there. Can't move the sofa, no. The door's locked anyway. Anyone alive? Fuck off. Oh, God! A bureau to the face. Yeah, that'll do it. Warning. Blood toxin Great. Detected. Emergency. Is fucker ain't dead yet? I should have just shot it to fucking begin with. God damn. That thing was tough. Alright, anyway. Fuck. the body. So I guess I need to do that so I could go somewhere outside. Yeah, there was electricity blocking the way, I guess. Okay. I gotta go all the way back. <clears throat> oh, fuck you. I'm not fighting you. What the hell? They're right in front of me! Warning. Blood toxin levels detected. Those things are a pain in the ass, huh? I mean, at least you automatically get your health back, but those things are a major pain in the ass. There, 100%. All right, so there's another fire to clear. All right. And here comes an asshole. Shit. Shut up. Shut up. Silence. Quiet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that it? Okay, the electricity is off so I can climb here now. Woo! This is all, like I said, this is all new to me, so I don't know what to expect. It's pretty cool, though. I like it. Definitely creepy. Oh, well, what's gonna be up here? I'm not used to tapping a button to lock onto a ladder like this. A little weird mechanic to what I'm used to. 
<laughs> there he is. Well done, brother. Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Duh. Look out, brother. Behind you! Oh, the shot. Ravenholm, you do well to be vigilant. Nice guy. He helped me. Alright, where do I go next? Uh. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm on a scaffolding now. Alright. 